votes. We're also looking at the winners in some other races last night. The Democratic incumbents in both the 6th and 14th congressional districts came out victorious. CBS 2's Mugo Digway joining us live in the newsroom with more on their wins. Good morning, Mugo. Good morning, Audrina and Ryan. So we'll start with Illinois' 6th congressional district where U.S. Rep. Sean Caston beat Republican challenger Keith Peacock. But it was not an easy night. It was the closest race of the evening in the Chicago area. At one point, they were just 10 votes separating Caston from Peacock. In the end, though, a huge number of votes came Caston's way. In his concession speech, Peacock said he'll continue to serve as mayor of Orland Park. On the other hand, Caston continues into his third term. Term. Last night, he talked about how different things were this time around because his daughter, who died this summer, was not there to see him win. The last time I won an election, we did it in a drive through. Um, the last time I did an election in a room this big, um, Gwen was up here with us. I have a picture on my desk of all of us sitting in that moment, and it's just such joy on our face. And it is so, it's so hard not to have her here. And over in the 14th district, Democratic U.S. Rep. Lauren Underwood kept her seat. She beat Republican challenger Scott Greider. She, too, will now go into her third term. That district is a very, very diverse one. It includes more Democratic-leaning areas in the western suburbs in central Illinois and parts of Aurora, Kendall County, and St. Charles. Last night, Underwood said her goal is to now focus on balancing the needs of that very vast area she serves. We're live in the newsroom. Mugodigwe, CBS. Two news.